um, I think it's 26 years in October. Wow, 26 years. So um, what was Nanda like when you first came? Oh, a lot different than now. Yeah. It was very small. I think we had 38 beds. Yep. Um, and we were down at Semaphore. It was a nice, homey little place. I just sort of started not long after Dr. Gold and Mrs. Gold took over. Um, but yeah, it was, it was good. Great. And what have you, what's your role been over those 26 years? Um, I have done some caring shifts over the years. Um, my main role was lifestyle coordinator, although back then it wasn't called that. Um, there's been a lot of names over the years. Um, yeah, so... And how have you enjoyed it? Oh, I must say, I've always loved my job. Um, I feel I've got a good rapport with the older people and I do like to try and help where I can, especially if some of them are struggling, you know, emotionally and that. Um, and it's, it's very rewarding. Yeah, what's the most enjoyable thing for you doing lifestyle? I just think making them happy. I mean, nobody wants to live in a nursing home, so when they come in here, you know, they've lost so much, their home, and they feel, some of them feel like they've lost their family. But if we can make them laugh and be happy, and I just think that's, you're making some sort of, um, what's the word? Something toward their emotional well-being, you know, just yeah. taking their mind off yeah, missing their family and... It's been a big year this year. What, how, how have you managed with changes to resident focused care and COVID, yeah, obviously? Yeah, well, I always have believed that it should be more about the residents anyway um, and their choices because even down to the smaller things, you know, if they're able to, let them choose what they want to wear and, um, and if someone's always had their hair done and their makeup done, that sort of thing, we should allow them to keep that up because that's obviously meant a lot to them. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot of changes and um, hopefully for the best, it made it more homey, a bit different at the moment because of the COVID thing, but hopefully that'll go away soon and we can get back to normal. Yeah, and you deal a lot of work with the families a lot, especially new families or new residents when they come into what would you say to a new resident's family, how they can help uh, oh, transition th into the home? I think, as again, it's a bit hard with the COVID thing, but normally I'd encourage them to come in and join in with any activities we're doing um, and involve them and make them feel welcome so that, you know, they, they know they're not just coming in here to sit. You know, sometimes families struggle because they don't know what to say or, you know, run out of things yeah. to say, but... And Lynn, when, um, when you support a new resident with their social history, how can the family help you to help the resident? Well, the, the thing with the social history, and I know some families struggle with giving it, but the more information we get, it, could, it might be something even traumatic in that resident's life, but sometimes that can affect them in later in life. And if we don't know, and we might mention something not about that, if we don't know about it, and their behaviour sort of, they're upset or whatever, if it's relating to something they're remembering from years ago, but we don't know, so we can't help them. Yeah. Um, so the more information, and it could be good stuff as well, um, because it's, it's, in, it's their whole life, yeah. you know, and then just come here and this, each resident has a different personality. They've lived a different life. So I guess all of a sudden they're here with all these different characters. Yeah. So we need to know as much as we can about them to help them, you know. So things like stories and photos and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Likes and dislikes from, from the yeah. past as much as recently. Even, and, and, you know, with some... Even if it's just a small photo album with their family members with the, you know, the daughter's name and the son's name so we can get to know who's who and... If they're worrying where their family is, you know, we can go through that with them and explain they might be at work or, you know, wherever they are and they'll be in to see them soon and 
Yeah. Great. It's... All right. Well, well done on your 26 years. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and looking forward to I'm the next... I'm hoping for discount on a bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there'll always be a bed for you, Linda. <laughs> and, and family, you encourage families to, to come and meet you and Tina um, when yes, they like. Yes, yes. And your um, email, do you know your email address? Uh, wellness2 at anandaagecare.com.au Yeah, and Tina is wellness yeah. at anandaagecare.com.au Great, well thanks for your time. Thank you.